Miss Cheryl Boyce Taylor. It seems, Miss Taylor, that we are nothing if not for our histories, and so much of mine is tied up in the business of ghosts. I don't want to burden anyone, but I consider anyone who has lost someone my kin, because I think we are all faced with the same central question of how we go on, how we live the life that best reflects the people who aren't here and are still counting on us. A mother is never supposed to bury a son, I think. I don't know who makes that rule, as if linear time is the only direction we all have to follow, but something about it seems particularly wrong. A cynic might say that it all depends on the length of life, who had the most fulfilling years and who didn't, but I am not a cynic. I don't believe much in any natural order. I buried my mother, but at least I was young. I don't remember the day much, but for the dirt that remained on my good pair of dress pants. My family didn't have a lot of money growing up, and I didn't have many reasons to get dressed for nice occasions, and so I only had about one good pair of dress pants, a pair that, I imagine, was passed down from one of my two older brothers. My mother was skilled with sewing. She would sometimes sew together outfits I would wear to school, and so it was nothing to shorten a pair of pants for her youngest child, who didn't seem like he would grow past the paltry height he was given already. I cherished the pants, I think, because, being young and poor, I maybe clung to what I was told was a nice thing. I didn't dig much of the grave. Maybe none, if I recall. I do recall kicking the dirt around it, though. It seemed so odd to me at the time to have a living person to hold a mere three days earlier, now having dirt heaved atop their body. Sometime... During the kicking, I got a dark stain of wet dirt on my pants. I remember staring at it on the ride home, and then while sitting on my bed after the funeral, I remember thinking that I had betrayed the fabric, this item that my mother had worked so hard on for me to wear and feel nice or briefly wealthy. Focusing on the stain and mourning the pants, I think, allowed me to mourn the greater loss. I was mourning something that my mother had poured her heart into for me because I was her son. And so, this is how I remember mourning my mother, by way of soiling something that she crafted for me with her bare hands. The stain came out after two washes, though I often wished it hadn't. 